Ed Torres from American Architectural Windows and Century Window Guards. Here I have my, my sliding window guard. This guard is also made out of aluminum, not steel, and is powder coated and made 100% in the USA here in Brooklyn. And how this works is this guard actually takes the full height of the window and the full width of the window as you can see. It actually, if you have a front sash, a sliding window actually slides across. And then you actually open it up and this guard actually takes up the whole sash so you're safe. You close it and then you have the other sash that doesn't move across. It also works as a stop so this sash cannot operate. You close that. Again, our guards are made out of powder coated aluminum, not the steel. They never rust. And they're very durable and environmentally friendly. Very important. People who care about the environment and our children's futures. Okay, now the way to measure a child guard for a sliding window is, and you can call us or email us with these questions, and I'll speak to anyone directly. What you'll do is you'll measure the width of this window and it only opens 15 inches in the width. That's the first dimension you'll always give us is the width. Then you'll give us the height. For instance, right here I have a height of 35 and a half inches. So if you give us this width and you give us this height, we'll know exactly what size guard you need and you can install this guard yourself. The guard always gets installed in the back track. Sliding windows operate to where you have the main operator, which is always the front sash, and then you have the other, the back sash that always slides over. This guard always goes into the back track. Same premise with a double hung window. Always in the back track. So as you see, you can operate the front and completely open it. You can close it, lock it, open it, the sash stops, this one opens completely for full amount of air and light. It's very secure and you know you'll be safe. This is our sliding window guard. The next item I have for a sliding window is called the bumper stop. Now this is a little different. This actually goes into the tracks and for a sliding window you'd have to buy four of these. You would put two in the rear, one on the lower, one on the upper and the rear, and in the front of the window, you would put one on the lower and one on the upper. So you would put one here and one here. And how, you, how we know how large to make this is, you'll open your window four inches. Now right now I have opened the window to four inches. The dimension to here is 14 inches. So we will give you a stopper that is 14 inches that will fit right in the track. We'll have holes. You'll screw it in two screws in the front, two screws in the back. Same thing with here. Two screws, one screw here, one screw here, one screw here, one screw there, and that's it. It stops the window here at this point so the window only opens four inches. And that'll be it. Two bumpers in the back, two bumpers in the front, and that limits the travel. So if you don't want a window guard, and you don't want the full amount of air, then you go ahead and you use this bumper stop. But for air, apartments get very hot in the summer. So you want the maximum amount of air. So I would, I would recommend going with a full-size guard that actually eats up the sash. You don't have to worry about it. You can get air, and your children are safe. And this is our sliding window child guard.